Guys, I really think dragons are the strongest troop in Clash of Clans right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you a number of different war attacks that are getting bases three-starred with dragons. Not only that, but I have an attack to show you coming up next where literally everything goes wrong in the attack. And it still triples just on the strength of the dragon. So make sure to hang in there for that. Also, towards the end of the video, I'm going to be going in and doing a live attack with dragons as well. But we're going to start it up with Loana's attack right here, man. She's got a clone spell and just a mass dragon dragon army she's starting it off with a hero dive trying to take out that right hand quadrant right there which she pulls off beautifully with that royal champion right now her rc her queen and her king all still have their abilities finally the king pops hers but this is off to a really good start now notice she used a, a siege barracks so she's not trying to send a blimp or he's not trying to send a blimp for the town hall and uh, this is pretty crazy, man. Um, so we got to make sure that we get the dragons through the town hall on this really quickly. Uh, otherwise, that poison and the blast could really have a, a dire effect on these dragons and loons. Grand Warden ability is going to cover the blast, but it immediately wears off after that. Look at this, man. And they're still in the poison, so we got to get them out of that poison before it take them down on health too far. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like always, man, use code CWC before you buy anything in any Supercell games. It helps out a lot. Now, the beautiful part about this plan was putting that heal spell right after the town hall there. So if the blast caught him or if the poison did him some damage, that heal spell would get that group of dragons back up in health. Now on the bottom, the queen's going to get burned up by that single target inferno, but we got dragons right there ready. Man, look how many dragons there is left in this base. Oh my goodness, dude. Six dragons still alive. We even got the unicorn dragon swap. The unicorn is healing the dragons. Beautiful plan. And just the strength of the dragons just bolt through this base. Here you guys go. This is the attack where everything goes wrong. And Mini C still manages to somehow pull out the triple. Right after this attack, I'm going to show you probably one of the strongest army compositions there is in Clash of Clans, so hang in for the next attack. But here we go, man. Mini C starting it off. Now, mistake number one, in my opinion, is the attack. Drag Bat, all right? Dragons, very strong. Yes, they just got an upgrade at Town Hall 14. Super powerful. Kind of the point of this whole video. Bat spells haven't got an upgrade since Town Hall 12. In fact, I think the last adjustment that they got was probably a couple nerfs, all right? Um, so they're just not strong at Town Hall 14, all right? We're still running Town Hall 12 level. Max Bats is still the max at Town Hall 14, all right? Defenses have all gotten upgraded several times since then. Bat spells have not. Now look at this, man. Nothing goes to get this Inferno Tower over here, all right? It's just sitting there cooking through dragons. Tornado Trap catches the blimp. Mini C had Super Goblins in there. Their job was to go in there and get the Town Hall, but he misses the blimp inside of that Grand Warden ability. Therefore, it doesn't have the time to wait out the Tornado Trap and still make it to the Town Hall. So Town Hall's up. And guys, Town Hall is certain death for bats at Town Hall level 12 and up. So he really needs his queen to step up. Good thing she can reach the Town Hall from here. With her ability, he needs to take out this town hall before he even drops the bat spells. Otherwise, he's going to be in big trouble. All right, Queen pops her ability, gets the town hall down. At this point now, he can start dropping the bat spells. All right, so he drops him in up from the right with a bat wave style deployment, but he's a little late on the invisibility spells, so Royal Champion's still not going to be surviving that single. Now we got bat spells coming in. He does have three free spells, but notice how slowly they're working through these defenses here. I think he had like five bat spells, but the these are Town Hall 14 level defenses. They have a lot more HP than Town Hall 12 level defenses. And so they're getting through these defenses pretty slowly. All right, next mistake comes in. He drops the remaining freeze on the multi, even though the Wizard Tower was not down far enough in health, all right? Always drop it on the Wizard Tower instead of a multi because a multi can only damage five or six bats at a time or a Wizard Tower could take out a billion if they're all in the same group, all right? So Wizard Towers are priority freezes over bats. And look at this man. Everything else is gone except for one of these strong dragons, man. These guys are crazy strong. And so he's still got one left. And this stupid multi that he literally started the attack on has not been damaged by absolutely anything. His queen's going to be able to get through this wall and just barely get it taken out. Are you freaking kidding me? How many things went wrong with this attack and it still tripled? Why? Because dragons are crazy strong.
Guys, next up, we got Worm coming in with the Dragon Rider Dragon Army. I think this one is called Hydra. Super powerful combination. This is the most powerful flybrid attack strategy that there has ever been, man. They just pair really well together. And look at this. He's sending the Blizzard into the core of this base, going after both scatter shots, Eagle. There's a multi in there. Oh my God. He brought five invisibility spells, which is a beautiful call. There's so much value in there. You're going to be able to get all the value you can out of those invisibility spells. Unfortunately, his placement of them is off. So he does get the two scatters but he doesn't get the multi in the core he doesn't quite get the eagle although they are pretty low on health but he got a couple of the wow how many how many of those air defenses did he get man he got two of the air defenses in the base as well now he's gonna send heroes in for the town hall i really like the call on this base man usually prioritize the town hall with the blizzard but with that much value in the core of the base i gotta say man he made the right call on this one heroes can go in and take out the town hall they're gonna pull off just that not only that but queen stays outside of the poison her and her unicorn both stay outside of the poison although that unicorn got hammered by that eagle artillery blast so queen is going to be doing pretty good as long as she stays behind these dragons she might be able to get back up in health and help towards the end of the attack now dragon riders and dragons move into the base together great freeze value on that multi and eagle artillery combo right there raging them into the core into this core damage oh my god royal champion ability finishes off the two multi-target infernos that was one of the best royal champion abilities i have ever seen man waited until those were the closest defenses popped the ability off took those multis out before they could burn through any more dragons or dragon riders now look at this we've got troops all spread out we got a couple dragons up top helping the queen she is back up to almost full health we got so many dragon riders on the bottom with a few dragons trailing to help the clean up the dragon riders are going straight at those defenses while the dragons are cleaning up behind them to get the base three starred within that three minute time limit man look how many troops are still left on this this was a beautiful attack by worm and really well illustrates the power of the dragon riders with the dragons i've already got a few videos out on it. it is incredibly powerful not only that but they're pretty easy to use as well all right guys it's time let me go in and do a live attack all dragons let's go all right guys here's the army comp that i'm using let's go find a base on this one i would very much like to land right next to the town hall and the scatter shot so we are going to be using A hound to make that happen and I'm gonna go ahead and invest a freeze just to be on the safe side oh there we go two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four I don't even know what they're aiming at skellies maybe all right cool we got the majority of that taken out now we're gonna need some help from baby dragon do some funneling and then we're gonna bum rush this side of the base with a whole bunch of dragons also we're gonna do some funneling out here with the heroes keep the heroes working right next to the dragons boom we're gonna pop this grand warden ability save us from that multi the eagle blast Royal Champion damage, Seeking Air Mines. It's really good uh, Grand Warden value right there. Not to mention there's the entire pack of dragons there. So that could be really helpful when you get, you know, I don't know, 13 different troops all in that Grand Warden ability. Obviously, you're going to get some more value out of that than if there were only, I don't know, say, seven or six. There we go. Oh, stupid Tornado Trap. Uh, we're going to go ahead and freeze the Scatter Shock since it's actually got a big old fat group of my dragons it's working on out there. Here we go. This is looking like money, guys. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, this base is uh, not looking like it's putting up much resistance. Look how many dragons we lost off to the left there. And they're just going strong. I don't need any hero abilities here, man. We're, we're all gravy. We got this one down. No problem. Obviously, uh, quite a bit older, outdated design. I'm sure some YouTuber out there has it up as an unbeatable base. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what I think of unbeatable bases. So there you guys go. Lots of different ways to use dragons. Very strong at Town Hall 14 right now. So definitely worth using. I'll see you in the next video.